baby peeps, Susanna here today for Spiegel Mom Scraps. This is the sketch that I used. It's the same sketch as I used last week, and this is the layout. It's a little bit of a variation from the previous layout and sketch, but it was based on that sketch. And this is the sequence mix, the nice list that I used on this particular layout. So I went to town with some mixed media on this layout. I um, used one of the exclusive cut files that's free to download from the website. Um, just go to the home page and it's on the right hand sidebar. I cut it out uh, with my silhouette and I removed the positives which left me just the negative or the background and I used two of the shimmers mists that are available in the Spiegel Mom Scrap store and those mists are um, this primary one that I used that is a the blue is called Vibes Jenny B Blue um, and I just pulled out the, I sprayed the mist over my own template that I made and then um, I splattered some of it and then I wanted to add a little bit of this sort of a pinky red um, and that is Spritz Ruby. Um, those are the two primary colors that are in this layout. They are the two primary colors that are in the nice list. Um, and so that's kind of what the color theme of this layout, the inspiration was, um, along with white. So that is the background, and I trimmed off the edges of this white paper. And what I couldn't decide was whether I was going to use the overlay, which is that, or what ended up being seen at the back. Um, and I ended up using the overlay, or what would be the stencil, um, and I put that on that uh, sort of marbled pinky color mauvey color from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. But I think what I'm going to do is I have pictures of my son on the same day also playing in the snow and sledding. So I think I'm going to use the the negative um, on another piece of paper with pictures of him that so I can put it side by side. Uh, there are lots of cuts clearly in this um, piece of cardstock and so I used my ATG to get the primary areas and then for the little bits of the snowflakes I just used this glue stick from American Crafts and then um, anchored that down onto the page there. Um, what you don't see me do is I go upstairs to my sewing machine and I use that same similar blue thread as you will see in the letters or that sort of more vibrant tealy blue and I stitch around the outside of this just to um, sort of add a little bit more blue um, and to pop the blue in the mist. So now I pull out all my bits and pieces. Uh, this is uh, Coco Vanilla collection and I um, it is sort of more of a summer floral collection but I really liked the colors in this and so I decided that I was going to make it a winter layout. Um, I like to use very purposed layouts for different purposes. So that's where I went upstairs and did the stitching there. Um, I, you will see in a minute, I pull out this die uh, for circles and my intent had been to actually use the sketch and put the four circles on top of this snowflake die cut, digital die cut file that I used. Um, so I cut out three circles from this particular piece of pattern paper. Actually what happens is I cut out two um, and I flip it over and I realize that I really liked the back side of it as well. Yeah, but when you use dies like this in a die cut machine, you get some nice crisp edges. The problem is, is that the crisp edge was going to be on the wrong side. So by doing this third circle in two halves, um, because of the way that I had remaining paper, I was able to get three circles uh, with crisp edges crisp edges going the right way. Now I had this blue vellum um, and a pink vellum that I thought would look really cool as well as circles. Um, so I cut the blue circle as well as that pink. I um, ran them through together because the vellum is so thin you are able to run two pieces together on uh, the big shot. So, and this is actually a big kick, same thing just with a longer platform. Um, and so there were the four circles that I wanted to use as just a sketch had called for four circles there. But I didn't like the four circles. Um, the four circles on top of the snowflakes 
really minimized the snowflakes and you couldn't see that lovely background. So I was still going to have four circles, um, just was going to rearrange the four circles that were in the sketch. And I liked that, um, I, I wanted another blue. Uh, there's a lot of pink on that layout because of the pink that shows through on the digital cut file. And so I wanted a, an extra piece of blue and so I just used half of this uh, four by three journal card here and half of that pink for a slightly different pink. So you'll see, actually I don't, I use half of the uh, pink circle and I do use that uh, polka dotted journal card underneath it, but I use it for something else. So I need to get these circles arranged in such a way that it doesn't look like the circle is amputated like that pink one there. Um, but I do really like the proportions of those three big circles. So what started out as four stacked circles becomes three stacked circles and a large snowflake of the same proportion to keep them. And I just sort of shifted things. So there's the card uh, and it ended up being a paper layer behind my photos. Originally, I was going to cut those photos um, so that we had the three photos just as the sketch called for. But uh, again, I liked them moved across the page um, and the way that I had decided to rearrange the circles enabled me to keep those photos together. So I didn't like this in the center of the page. Um, again, you lose the effect of all of those really cool snowflakes and the mixed media background that I had provided or created. Um, so I shifted it down a little bit and I put some paper layers behind these black and white photos in order to just uh, give a little bit more definition to the photos on um, the busyness of this background that I'm creating. So I saw that scalloped little piece there um, and I wanted that. So I cut up the pattern paper in order to be able to get that scalloped piece uh, to create um, a layer be un underneath the photos. And I thought it matched perfectly because the scallops continues that circular theme um, that I'm working with and is one of the themes on the um, Spiegel Mom Scraps blog this month or all of the social media networks actually. Circles and sketches. So there is a little bit of the circle theme continued um, underneath the pictures and I, I, the proportion of these circles really, really bothered me. Um, so you will see I changed that up in a little bit, but I wanted another layer um, and I love the way that the white tissue paper sort of adds a snowy effect to the layout and continues with this snowy theme that I'm running with here. So just sort of asymmetrically trim that white tissue paper and Spiegel Mom Scraps used to sell uh, glassine bags. I think Jody has clearanced all of those out, but I still have some. So in fact, I have many. I like glassine bags. They provide a great layer behind um, photos. So I stuck that in there for another layer and uh, I can also journal and stick a tag in there. So I'm still trying to work on the proportions of these three circles. I know I'm gonna use the snowflake as the fourth circle that's in that sketch that has now been a very modified sketch, um, but I can't, it, I actually, you'll see me shuffle these around a fair amount and that's part of why this video takes so long and part of why uh, it takes me so long to create this layout. So there's the snowflake. Now I, um, created a bit of a tassel with these sequins. So what I did was I um, had two, two pieces of thread and I put them through the hole of the uh, sequins and then pulled it through sort of to create an X. Uh, and it took a long time to do that. So you can see the lighting shifted um, as it got a, quite a bit darker in order to finish that sequence um, chain that I had created there. It's kind of like a daisy chain, only we'll call it a sequence chain. Um, so here's where I solve my problem with the size and the proportion of these circles and I do make one of them smaller. And by doing that, um, it <laughs> strays way, 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 way away from the sketch, but uh, the proportions of the layout work much better and are much more pleasing to my eye. So I now have the bulk 
of what I want. I know I'm going to use that sequence chain there. It works nicely with the little scallop and it brings that bright blue um, into the layout that is really what I had, had wanted. I thought I might use a few more of these snowflakes that um, are the remnants of the cup file just to add a little punctuation of falling snow. Um, the smaller ones work much better, but I do have that white space that's there and I thought that that white star, white star, white snowflake, just a partial bit of it um, fit in nicely and sort of filled in that gap. I, I will tell you that the there's those two particular snowflakes in the middle there, there's a lot of pink and I had really tried to work to cover that up and soften the harshness of that pink, um, but sticking snowflakes in there didn't work and sticking sequins in there didn't work, so I decided not to fight it. So with this uh, Coco Vanilla collection, um, you can see those, the wood veneer letters. There were a bunch of wood veneer letters. Um, and so I wanted to use love and I knew I wanted to use snow. So you can see the thickers that are underneath there. They're from Amy Tan. Um, I used those because they complemented the blue in the sequence mix, the nice list blues, and um, really allowed me to pop that that shinier blue color um, in the mix and it tied everything together nicely so I just got out some wax paper to see the alignment of how this was going to go um, I thought I would put love down below and fill in that white space in the picture but um, it didn't work and I tried it down below but it looks much better side by side there and kind of fills in a little bit of that circle um, and closes off the the gaps in there. So this is where I'm going to tie in some more from the um, the Thickers collection into the layout and just add those bright pops of blue. So you can see how I try and fill in those holes, those glaring um, magenta color. Uh, but it, it didn't look right and it still doesn't look right in that snowflake and I will ultimately end up moving that as well. So I had some sequins that I thought maybe I would use throughout the layout as well, but I just decided that it was enough. Um, there's enough color. I didn't need to add any more color and just sort of let the, the um, mixed media speak for itself. So there's where I end up moving that uh, other thicker um, asterisk to. And uh, I tried wood veneer. There were a bunch of hearts that came with this collection as well and I abandoned that. So I have pretty much confirmed where everything's going to go. I'm going to speed this up because it takes me a little while to um, adhere everything down and truly the rest of this video is just me uh, lifting things and sticking everything down. I use my Prima glue pen to get the bulk of this layout done, uh, mostly because with the digital cut file, a lot of the sticky is already there. So it's easy for me to kind of lift things up because they're sort of already stuck to themselves. Um, and then I do use my uh, Scotch quick dry adhesive to get that um, sequence chain down below the photo there. So that you can see. I do use my ATG because all of that pretty much stuck together when I lifted it up. Um, and then I just use my Prima glue pen for the finer details there. Oh, and I use the Scotch Quick Dry for the uh, wood veneer as well. So that is my um, layout, really. You've saw, seen the completed layout. I just need to. Uh, stick it all down to the page. Um, so just to recap, I used the nice, li nice list sequins mix, which I made a sequins chain out of there. Um, and then I used two mists from the store. I used Jenny B Blue and Ruby Spritz, uh, both of which can be found in the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. And if you use the um, code Susanna with a Z, S-U-Z-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A 15, you can get 15% off. There are some really wonderful mixes. There's some great Christmas mixes as well as uh, um, some nice spring mixes really too. Uh, so thanks for joining me on the Spiegel Mom Scraps blog today. If you don't subscribe, we would love to have you join us and stay tuned in the, on the 15th. I have a scrap challenge coming up. Thanks for joining us today. Take care.